Gene Meyer and Leonard Leo have been outstanding leaders and have built the Federalist Society literally from starting from scratch up into this huge organization, which I believe is the, the most successful and one of the largest and most significant organizations in the conservative movement over these several years. The founding fathers knew that like any other part of the government, the power of the judiciary could be abused. If you look back to even the early 1980s, President Reagan was appointing very important new judges and new justices. They were taking a new approach toward certain very important legal questions. That was not being taught uh, in the law schools and wasn't even really welcome in a lot of law schools. So there was no kind of uh, consensus, no firm idea of what it meant to be uh, a, a conservative uh, with regard to the law, somebody who uh, favored uh, liberty, uh, the, the framers' vision of the Constitution. Uh, what legal principles uh, did that translate into? The Federal Society stepped in. They just had this idea that they would, that, that, that law school campuses needed more balance and they were gonna bring that balance to it. And they started off by bringing speakers and hosting debates on the law school campuses. That small nucleus of conservative law students is really changing the debate in the law schools in this country. The Federalist Society is in the forefront of the fight to reform our legal system that has grown into a national organization which now includes lawyers and legal scholars as well as students. The group together has done an, an amazing job, but the day-to-day -day leadership of Gene and Leonard has been very fundamental to that success and that growth, where I believe now measures 70,000 different members, which has chapters in virtually every accredited law school, and also has something like 100 different lawyer chapters. It's helped people who are out of law school really just continue their legal education. It brought together all the various strands of the conservative movement. That's no surprise when Gene Meyer was born in diffusionism. His father, Frank Meyer, was the original fusionist. And so the Federalist Society has created a, just a huge network of people who think similarly about the Constitution and the importance of the rule of law. We did not envision, to tell you the truth, that the student group would grow into a national organization big enough or prominent enough to be addressed by the President of the United States. You've earned a reputation across the ideological spectrum for open debate and intellectual rigor. On behalf of our country and the Constitution, we are grateful for all you have done. I think Leonard's there. He's there making everything happen. We're supposed to judge a judge's work and whether they're coherent and rigorous and, and fair and objective. And Gene, in my mind, embodies the Ronald Reagan maxim that you can accomplish so much good if you don't care who gets the credit. All of our chapter and practice group officers, student chapter and lawyers chapter, officers and practice group officers and leaders, you are the core of the Federal Society. You are the one who does the work. I would really, really appreciate what you do. Thank you. Leonard and Jean are, are different in a lot of ways. You're having a best dress contest, that goes to Leonard. If you're looking for the best chess player, uh, that goes to Jean. But uh, as I've thought about this, you know, they share one really important trait in common that they've been self-effacing and they've been selfless. That's a pretty rare thing in Washington. If you look for why has the Federal Society been successful, I'm confident uh, that's part of it, that uh, what's been most important to them, it's been the ideas, it's been the other people. I think that Gene and Leonard deserve the prize for leadership and political thought because in many ways they are emblematic of what Bill Buckley himself stood for and that was civilized discourse, vigorous debate, and also the idea that people could disagree without being disagreeable. And due to the leadership of Gene and Leonard, I think you will see that the Federalist Society has a great opportunity to continue to grow and to continue to carry on the great work that they have started. Mm -hmm.